Less than 24 hours after Detroit's emergency manager Kevin Orr filed for Chapter 9 bankruptcy electronically, the winds of change have come through. And with those winds of change comes mixed reaction from folks who called Detroit home. Residents from across Metro Detroit sounding off. A uh, disaster. Wow. A sigh of relief. People whose lives are being destroyed. Some relieved, others waiting. Waiting for that all clear, a sign they know will take time. They say in the long run it'll help Detroit. The way Detroit's been going for the past 42 years that I've been here, something needs to help them, so maybe this will. It kind of makes you wonder, uh, did they, they rush through to do this? Did they really uh, look at every single aspect of the finances? And that's the big question on so many Detroiters' minds. Was this a rush to beat the other person who was filing a lawsuit against them to stop this? I'm not a financial whiz, but, I, but you know, I have a lot of finance in my time, so, um, you know, I'm not, I never went to school for that, but, you know, it don't take a rocket science to figure out something wrong. Within hours of filing, people we talked with cast their doubts. It's, it's always something crooked going on. You don't know who to trust and who not to trust. Who do you really trust? It's, it's a trust factor right now. We're just not quite sure if uh, we can trust the leadership from the state level to the local level. And then there are those who, despite having fears about the unknown, remain positive about the city they love, the city now in the shadows of financial reconstruction. It just feels like this is a good thing for Detroit. And um, it could potentially be a new beginning. In Detroit, Nima Shafe, 7 Action News.